Well, I think that um, music can be commercial or non-commercial, but if it's true, generally it means that it's coming from uh, from the heart, from the from a place where it's where it is true, like where it, where they're not singing about things that are um, are false, basically, in my opinion. So people who sing about how much money they've got and how many girls they've got and how many Bentleys they got, that's not true. But people who sing the truth and say what they really feel, that's true music. We're not really famous so, so much. Successful. Maybe. Yeah, we're successful, but we're we're not really famous. I mean, there was never a, a time where I went, I, t I said, oh my God, I'm famous. Because when we go to when I when I go to Australia, where I live, well, my home. Nobody knows who I am. When I go, when I, when I'm in England, not many people know who I am. When I'm in people, when I'm walking down the street, generally people don't know who I am. It's only when I go to my shows and that people are there to see me that they treat me like I'm famous and they want my autograph and they want photos. Yes. But it's it's okay. It's it's good. It's just the way it is. It's I mean. Better that way because then you can do your everyday things, day to day, go shopping. Yeah. We don't know how famous we are in Russia. I don't know if I am that famous. But um, either way, I mean, it's good. It's good. We, li we listen to the Beatles. We listen to dubstep. We listen to drum and bass. Uh, liquid drum and bass. Hip jungle. Hip-hop. Reggae. Grime. Reggae, glitch hop. Lots of... Lots jazz. Of, lots of music. Ska, heavy, punk. Heavy metal. Everything. Everything that we can possibly listen to. As long as it's good. We listen to it, in my opinion. music that I don't really enjoy listening to, like Ben does enjoy listening to. Yeah, you don't like heavy metal. I don't like heavy metal and I don't like heavy drum and bass, like really industrial drum and bass. So I don't really like techno and trance music. In Russia, the, the, we have more fans, I think, than anywhere in the, in the world. We, we probably like, this is our most successful country and um, people here are really, they, they really love what we do. Which is really great because in Australia nobody knows who I am really, and um, so and that you know that's a good thing too. I I don't really care. I don't choose. I don't try to be famous. I go where the promoters book me, if they book me, and otherwise me and her, me and the Flower Fairy just live in our van and travel around and street perform whenever we need money. I mean nowadays it's getting a bit more and more hectic, but you know it's really good. I think the Russian fans are. Are, are really cool man they're like they're not they're not like ah! but they're also they're respectful and they're cool it's good well at the moment we're doing a remix album where um, I've basically put all the acapellas from my album Everything's a Ripple on the internet on SoundCloud so anyone can go and get the uh, the uh, the vocals from all my songs and remix them and do what they want with them and I want everyone to send them back to me and then I'm going to compile not just the vocals or everything. Well, there's a saxophone and the vocals. It's mainly the vocals. There's no, no, I didn't put the drums or the bass in there. Oh. So they could use that and do what they want with that and then um, remix. And then uh, the, my favorite remixes I'll put on a CD and basically, hopefully, all these unknown people who are artists who nobody knows about will send me some really cool remixes and then we can help make them famous as well. We still live in a van. Our home is a big old Mercedes van. That's our home. Falling apart. Falling apart. It seems. You know, we're not, we're not trying to be rock stars. We're, we don't want to be rock stars. We're not going to sign any contracts. You know, the, the, I guess the only people who promote us are the promoters. So when we get booked to play here in St. Petersburg, for example, the promoters want to get many people to the show. So they pay for advertising and lots of things. But I would never pay for advertising to advertise my album. You know what I mean? That would never do happen. We just we we don't we don't want to get that kind of fame where we become super famous and loads of managers. That's missing the point. We just want to make good music and have children and live somewhere. But we just did a song with Pete Philly, who's an underground hip hop artist from Holland, who's really good. You should check him out, Pete Philly. Um, and there's another guy called Chords from uh, Sweden, I think, or Finland, or Scandinavia somewhere. And um, he's really good as well. Another hip hop artist, soul sort of singer and rapper. You know, uh, another stamina MC as well. We're, I'm looking to do some work with him soon. T Power as well, who's done work with Shy FX. He's doing a remix for one of my songs, and I'm going to send him some original vocals so he can remix that. So I mean, yeah, it's, in the, 
it's in the plans. It's all in the plans. I mean, we're not. It, yeah, we're we're trying. We're focusing on just touring at the moment, and then once that when that's over, we'll try and do some other stuff. We tour with Mr. Woodnote and Little Reese. And yeah, Mr. Woodnote and Little Reese. They're also street musicians, and yeah. they travel around the world. Um, so in a way, we support them, and they support How did you us. I, I, no, we met him at a festival, and um, a friend of ours, or a mutual friend, put us together and said, "Oh, you guys should have a jam." So we did. We had a jam, and we, you know, started having fun together and kept making music. And I helped record him an album, and now we're touring together. You know, like if I see other street musicians that I really like, you know, then I'd I'd quite happily help them for sure. Um, Noise MC seems pretty cool as well. Sometimes, like if I'm walking down the street and I see someone jamming by themselves, I'll beatbox with them for four or five minutes and have fun with them. And I mean, or I, I, alternatively, if if he's busking on the street and somebody else comes and they ask if they can, someone do, comes and has a go. And with he me. loves what they're doing. Then maybe, like, they'll have a go, do what they need to do. And if Ben really likes them, he'll say, "Oh, why don't we do something together in the future?" And, and it works like this on a kind of spontaneous basis. There was a guy in Germany called ZMC who um, basically we were in the street and he came up and I, I gave him the microphone and he was amazing. So hopefully I'm going to be able to record him and put him on, the, uh, on our next album. So. It's not impossible to beatbox, it's just practice. It's like if you want to um, go to the gym and you want to get big like Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's, it, you can do it. It's you just have to focus and do it every day, and that's a loads and loads of steroids. Yeah, well, there's that as well. But you know, anybody can really get you know strong. So it's the same with singing. It's the same with beatboxing. Anybody can sing. Anybody can beatbox. You know, when I was 17, I couldn't sing and I couldn't beatbox. But uh, now I'm 27, 10 years later, and I can sing and I can beatbox and I can rap. So you know, it's just practice.